the king. The king of kings. On your knees, dog. Sleep till noon. Mm. Mm. TUG is back. Yeah. All righty. All right. Yeah, Mandy, I think you're behind by, like, a high amount. Come and get your throat cut. Swap weapons out. Ow. Ta ta, turtle man. All right. Ah, bought my back pretty good just now. Ooh, opals. Could always use these. All right. Gotta find. Gotta find the tower of this area too. Ooh, arrows. See if there's anything we can find around here. Well, there's the ta ah choo choo. Yeah, there's the town. There's a shrine up there too. The tower is way okay. Ow. Ow. You fucking cocksucker. Damn, Link was hungry. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Yeah, they're dead too. <laughs> Fucker. Don't fuck with Link.
Raw meat. Yummy. Yeah, so... Oh, by the way, uh, TG, if you're paying attention, why'd you make me do that in that game? <laughs> why? Why did you make me do that? Ooh, Hylian Rice. So for anyone who doesn't know, TU okay, so basically it was April Fool's Day and TUG got to this part in Dragon Quest 3 where you go to like, I'm going to flat out say it, you pretty much go to a whorehouse, okay? And he get, he goes in and gets a poof poof massage, which is in Japanese terms or Dragon Quest uh, layman's terms, it means uh, you're getting uh, laid pretty much. Okay, uh, but of course, you know, Nintendo, they had to switch it and say, oh, he's not getting laid. He's just, uh, he's getting a massage. But yeah, so he's like, you know what? I'm going to let, I'm going to let Hunter P have one too. So he lets me go in and then it turns, hey, there's a rainbow there. That's cool. Hang on one second. I don't want to get my ass kicked. So uh, he lets me go in to have a massage, but the next thing you know, it's really a dude that's giving me a massage. I'm like, ah, oh, no! Yeah, TUG is like, he's, the re he's one of the reasons I started Let's Playing. Because, uh, you know, he did such a good job on his, uh, on his Crown Trigger run. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to Let's Play Crown Trigger now. Now I was just getting into it. Like getting into the whole Let's Play scene. Yeah, he uh, he was a mentor to me. Him, Moltov, Mario World, and Raukau have all been mentors to me. That's Moltov and Raukau are why I did those Super Mario Let's Plays way like back when I first started out. But you know, I realized I wasn't having much. Uh, Vip Four I had a lot of fun with, but Vip Five, I'm gonna be honest, I hated it because it just it felt more like I was doing a chore than I was. Um, doing a um, a let's play, and when that be when that happens, it's time to hang up the it's time to hang up the boots. And I know somebody's thinking, well, is that what's is that what's going on with Final Fantasy VI? Final Fantasy VI. The reason I haven't gotten is because I had to fire one of my voice actors, the voice actor for Realm, and. Uh, I got somebody to play her from Kassar Studios, and she's working on those lines right now. Once I get them, bam, that episode's getting uploaded, no matter what. And then I can start on working on episode 18 and 19 and all that jazz.
So here's hoping, guys. Here's hoping. Holy shit, I made it. Put in my BC seven my seventeen thousand BC iPhone. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let this do its thing. I will be right back. I gotta use the bathroom. All right, I'm back. Don't you mean all that ass? <laughs> I personally like the amount of work put into Final Fantasy VI Let's Play. It seems like putting effort in instead of the slap in the face garbage companies mass produce. They produce stuff and it's like someone think about they above you, not even paying attention to you. You mean all that ass? <laughs> I guess I don't know. <laughs> all I know is you know this Final Fantasy VI has been a it's been a fun project, but I'm gonna be honest, it's been a total headache some days. Like my current situation with the. Uh, with the uh, with the voice actor, you know, but you know now we got somebody good. She's got she's got the lines working. She's even given me a few, and as soon as I get them, uh, yeah, we're going to. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Let's put it that way. I I honestly can't wait. I, at seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen are all going to be good. Um. TUG may like what I do with episode uh uh with the episode two because I've we're gonna have a little guest star by Strong Bad if you catch my drift. <laughs> Something about thatched roof cottages and uh uh dragon men with a beefy arm on their back, maybe. Was that a fairy? That was a fucking fairy and it escaped from me. What the fuck?
There's a guy just running around out here. <laughs> hey, you alright? It's not too late for my sister, right? Right? By the way, that blinking sound you're hearing, that is a, uh, that is my, um, that is uh, something I got from the last area. What it does is it detects shrines that are close by me. Yeesh. They never fight fair. They always want lurk to and wait to ambush us. What a bunch of cowards. Seems like every time I go out hunting for hard, hardy truffles, I'm taking my life in my hands. We were minding our business hunting for truffles, and then wham, monsters out of nowhere. I blame my sister, really. She's the one who refused to go home until we find some hardy truffles. Hardy truffles aren't your run-of-the-mill mushrooms you find growing on half the trees in the forest. They're a gourmet treat that soothes your fatigue and brings you back up to tip-top shape. I know that's dangerous for the two of us out here without any protection. We've been in our, in our share of scrapes. There's no war reward without risk, right? Nat, try not to make it sound so much like we only care about the money. It's not worth anything if we don't make it back home to spend it, you know? I'll be fine. Either we get the little practice fighting or we find more hardy truffles. Win-win, right? You're going to be the death of me. <laughs> Why am I such a five-year-old kid? <laughs> yep, that's the one. Oh, shit! I was looking at my phone for the comments. Yeah, I need to... The problem is I can't really get too much promotion because I'm always using, like, you know, copyrighted music in all my videos. Just to... Like... Even right now, King of Kings by Motorhead is getting copyrighted because of the um, because uh, the contract, uh, the label uh, got bought out by like WWE or something like that. And all they do is provide my wardrobe. As you can see, this is the uh, Thank You Taker shirt that just came out yesterday, actually. Um, and uh, Hat Neal Village, here we are. Who? Who are you? And I've been answers. If you're up this late, you're probably up to no good. I'm a traveler. Huh? You certainly do appear to be Helian like the rest of us. Hylians are general good folk, so sorry for getting all worked up. You're free to go. We just have a waypoint in your winding road, huh? Ah, the life of a traveler. Well, you can get the most things you need at the general store, and the inn is just back there. Yeah, thanks. Yes, we're going to the shrine. And yes, it is uh, Trogdor. That's another reason why this episode's taking me so long to get up. There's a little bit of editing that I'm doing, like sort of like a synchronization. Went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> but anyway, as I was saying, you know, Motorhead King of Kings got swapped. Um, now WWE owns them. And uh, my original contract with Motorhead is no longer valid, apparently, because it switched hands. Ownership switched hands. So now all my, almost all my videos have been getting hit lately with the... Um, with uh, with the uh, tags. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Mayam Agana. In the name of the goddess Helia, I offer this trial. Not that it really bothers me. It's not like I make money and, you know, I mean, I do ask for donations every now and then. But, you know, nowadays it's like I don't even need donations anymore. I'm making so much money with my new job. It's unbelievable. 
So, I mean, I'm not, it's not like with Raven how it was good pay, but the thing is I wasn't moving, so I was sitting a lot, and I was always, you know, e-begging just about, and it sucked. I hated doing it. But then, uh, you know, I got this job here at Walgreens as a truck driver for him, and now it's like, holy shit. Like, I'm, I'm not in any trouble right now. It's awesome. Oh, 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 look at this. Look at this. Look what I have to do. Ah. Oh. I have to move the controller. It's like one of those maze things that you see in like hospital rooms or whatever. Whoa! Ah, oh, so close. Ah, oh, damn it. This may take a while. You okay, Hunter? I hate when that... Yeah, I'm alright. Th thanks for asking, Manny. By the way, I'm, uh, I'm glad your brother got out of, uh, got, uh, cancer-free. Yeah, I've, I've been in contact with Mandy on Twitter for, like, the longest time, and she, uh, she told, re she opened up recently about how her brother had, uh, cancer. Don't worry, she said it on Twitter, she didn't just tell me. You know, because I know some people get annoyed with it, they're like, oh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to tell any secrets or anything like that, because you may spoil it on accident. And I've only ever done that once, but he's still pissed off about it. It was my buddy, uh, Stun Gun. Like, he got all pissed off. I accidentally said his real name. Uh, but I was like, uh, and I was like, uh, oops. But, I mean, it was just his first name. It was all, I didn't say his, where he lived or anything like that, so. Or his last, ah! This is hard! I found the cheap way of doing it. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's trapped. Okay. <laughs> this is hard, guys. Yeah, that's that's what I was mentioning. It's like those games that you see in like doctor's offices. The only difference is you're using it's it's a lot harder uh, when you're playing a video game version of it because you know the hand eye coordination. Come on, there you go. Ah! 
At least I can cheat. Not that I do... I don't really approve of cheating, but... Oh, God. This... I, okay, I'm only going to try this for like a couple more minutes. I'm wasting too much damn time. If there's... There's one thing about me, if you're new to the channel and you're watching this, there's one thing about me, I hate wasting time. Only because, you know, my schedule at work is so hellish. Ah! Oh. And, like, when I say my work is hellish, it, it's because I'm on what they call the extra board. Like, they may call me in any minute now and say, hey, uh, we got somebody didn't show up for a low. We need you to take it. And because I'm on the extra board, I have no choice but to take it. And the reason why is the reason they pay so well is because they offer a guarantee. Okay? The guarantee uh, guarantees I will make a certain amount of money no matter what. But the catch is, I have to accept every load they give me, no matter what. Ah! Fuck it. I'll do this some other time. I'm, I'm wasting too much damn time here. Wait, let me, see, let me check something real quick. Oh, huh. I was hoping that would work, but I guess not. So, yeah, that's kind of the thing. That's kind of what I'm dealing with. So, yeah. Now, just because I'm an on-call doesn't mean I'm, uh, like, I do have schedules sometimes. And hopefully I'll get on one of the, uh, on one of the, uh, things that they got. So, or one of the loads that they got where it's, uh, guaranteed freight. But most of the time, you know, like I've only had to use the guarantee twice. And that was my that was my second week working there and two weeks ago. But that's another reason my Let's Plays have taken a back seat. All right, we'll have to do this later. I'm wa I wasted too much damn time with that. All right, so we're in Hatillo Village. Kochi die shot. We live to die. What? What? <laughs> Welcome. If you're looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Who do you do? <laughs> Welcome to Kochi die shot, where we live to die. Okay. This <laughs> I guess this is this uh, version's game of the uh, the emos. I guess. If you have any dye ingredients at twenty rupees a dye nine, and that includes our service charge, of course. I could go in and die you up some gear. Uh, no thanks. Come around again. Every day is a good day to die. See, that's that's fucking creepy. Who who says stuff like that? Whoop. Thank you. Why'd you cut my tree down? Cause I could. What's wrong with you? Checking everyone out today too. The checking just never stops. Everyone stay at the Tompu Inn? Ever stay at the Tompu Inn? No. If you're not staying there then, I'm supposed to check out everyone who comes into town. Right, right? Thought so. I know things have been peaceful recently, but the outside world is still pretty dangerous, yeah? So I gotta check and make sure any beauties, or I mean suspicious folks will come around here any. Beauties? Ah. <sighs> <laughs> If you're lucky enough to stay at the Tanpu Inn, you'll see what I mean. Say hello to Prima for me when you do. Not that she even knows who I am. It's tough. I have to give her something. What kind of gift do you think Prima at the Tanpu Inn would want? Just take a guess. It's not for me, you understand. It's for my buddy's friend. <laughs> oh, shy guy. 
don't worry, guys. If you're shy, sooner or later, just that one woman is going to start making the moves, and all you got to do is just go with it. Go with the flow. Just trust me on that. Okay. Ooh, a soup ladle. What good's a soup ladle for a weapon? Hello. Hello, is anyone home? Hello? Hello? My name is Link. I barge into people's houses because I'm a jerk. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I need to dye my hair again. My roots are really starting to show again. The thing is, though, whenever I dye my hair, I always, I have to use, I have to buy a towel because it's going to ruin the towel. I also have to worry whenever it's, uh, it's one of those, um, I also have to worry about, you know, being at this apartment complex, too, because the after stains kind of, uh, suck. If that makes any sense, like, it sucks to clean up the aftermath. But, you know, my landlady, which... Uh, she said uh, I can go out. I can use her. Um, I can use her shower because she's got the uh, her shower for some reason is very easy to clean stuff up. So, ooh, what a nice breeze! It doesn't carry a tang of salt on it though. What do you mean? Oops, I forgot we just met. I was reminiscing about my hometown, Lurian Lur Lurian Village by the sea. The view and the air are different here in Hatillo Village, but this is where my wonderful husband calls home. I count myself lucky to be able to live and work along with such a wonderful, loving man. Lurulim Village, small fishing community far from the south. I lived there before I moved here with my new husband. We had to cross the bridge of Hylia to get here, weighted down with everything I couldn't bear to leave behind. Thinking back on it, it was a wonder either, either of us survived the trip. Hmm. Huh. Keep that in mind for a new location later. Hatino Pasture, Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. I think that's where we're going is the ancient tech lab. But first, chopping trees, because I need some apples. That's another reason I've been losing a lot of weight, too, is that I cut out a lot of, uh... You know, I used to eat out a lot being an over-the-road truck driver, like, almost every freaking day, because it's hard to cook in a truck. It really is. Even, with, even if you have everything, it's just... It's really hard to cook, because you, it's just... It's just so time consuming because you're getting paid by the mile. And, uh, you know, something good at Walgreens is even though now I'm local, but I'm also uh, paid by the hour. So even if I'm sitting there waiting with a thumb up my ass, I don't have to worry about, you know, getting paid, you know, because I'm going to get paid no matter what. 48 cents a mile or 23 bucks an hour, whichever one is greater. So say, for example, if I get a load to New Orleans, I'm probably going to get a... Um, I'm probably going to get paid for the miles, but that's 550 miles uh, a drive there and another 550 back. And I'll still get paid for, you know, pre-tripping, post-tripping, which I get paid by the hour for those, and unloading my trailer, which, yep. It's been getting me a little bit of muscle. I've, I've actually had to go down two pant sizes. I'm going to hate it when summer gets here, though. That's the only thing that's going to suck. Enter at your own risk. I got a bad feeling about this, guys. Good morning. 
This is the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? Yes. The director is in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try and keep it brief. Hmm. Good morning. I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well... Hmm? Is that... That thing on your waist, is that a Sheikah? There's no mistaking it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis. Ah, magnesis. Yes. The remote bomb in Crayonis. And what else? Let's see. So that's it for runes, but... Hmm. Strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, where are my manners? I mean, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are... Link, right? You know my name? Lady Emperor caught me up to speed. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Director! Listen, Ms. Director, this is a real Sheikah slate. Director? Oh, that's right, I haven't introduced you to our director. Ms. Pura happens to be right over there. As the Heteo Ancient Tech Lab Director, Ms. Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Check it! She, she gave devil horns! Holy shit! Who does that? I have the most up. I have the utmost respect for Ms. Pura. Pura. I almost said Punto for Ms. Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link, you see, the director may look like, like a young girl, but well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Ms. Pura herself. About the Sheikah censor, about author Simon. The Sheikah sensor is one of the basic runes found in the Sheikah slate. If it senses an ancient shrine containing a hero trial nearby, it will lead you there by emitting a series of sounds. The interval between sounds shortens the closer you get to a shrine. To stop searching for the object on your choice, set the Sinka sensor on your map to off. Yeah, that was one of the things I got in the last play, so... Hey, hey, are you surprised? The director of the laboratory is not Simon, it's me. Snappity snap. Anyway, Linky. Okay, that's cre... <laughs> You're talking to a guy who says, Let's go, Booney Poo. Please don't tell me to shut up. <laughs> Do you remember any dreams from the time in the slumber restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last hundred years, but something must have happened in all that time. Yeah, me forgetting all my memories and me snoozing. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky? What's with that look? Do you still remember me, right? No. Really? Well, I'm so shocked. I don't know if I'll ever be able to cover from this. Even though 100 years ago I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you, even though I was the one who put you safely into the Slumber of Restoration, despite all that, you still don't remember me. I don't friggin' remember you! Hmm, as expected. After 100 years of the Slumber of Restoration, Subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry! I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Aren't you a child? How very rude! <laughs> or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose it's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I looked this way because of a failed experiment. When I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair of my diaries upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are after 100 years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah slate. And what do you say to that? Yes, please. I knew you'd say that. All right, then. First, I need you to run an errand for me. Uh... What's with that look on your face? You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah slate for fee, did you? Yes. Hmm... Post slumber of restoration, subject is played by presumptuous tendencies. Noted. Dick. <laughs> well, the, let me explain what this errand entails. You know that unlit furnace on the wall just outside this laboratory? Yeah. Could you please bring in the blue frame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace? This sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. Huh, I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. 
Ah, well. I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, then. I'm counting on you for that blue flame. Carry the blue flame from the ancient furnace in Hatino Village to the tech lab and use the light. Now, how the hell do I do that? Not with that. I got a Boku Club. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> yeah, Mandy. I think you're behind by like 10 minutes. Hit the live button. Or better yet, hang on. There we go. Sorry about that. Yeah, the Moogle and uh, Rosanna went to go pick up their cat, Yuki. Poor girl. She had a. Uh, she's got a. Uh, she had a cyst, and they think it could have been cancer, but they got it all out of her. So here's hoping. That's the same thing that happened to my dog Bolt uh, when I was doing my Final Fantasy X Let's Play. Uh, I had only had him for like ten months, and because I had adopted him from the shelter. And, you know, I mean, he was a good, he was a good dog the first six months I had him, but then he, his, uh, something started bulging on his back and, uh, they found out it was cancer and they had to put him down because of it. Like I flat out said, I can't have a dog. I don't want, I don't want this dog suffering if he's only going to live for a few more days. Just let him, let him have it out. So, I mean, yeah, that, that fucking hurt to do that. That really fucking did. Checking everyone out today, too. The check's just... Oh, this is Manny. Hey, it's a prayer. But you do not yet have four orbs. Hey, Doc? Doc? Hello, is anyone home? Einstein, come here, boy. <laughs> For a secret recipe that will surprise even the most knowledgeable of dads, start with some fortified pumpkins. Throw in some tabathan wheat, tabanthan wheat to give the snoo a nice weedy flavor, then let some fresh milk and goat butter simmer. And there you have it, a tasty pumpkin stew. That sounds good. Now the question is, where the hell's the blue flame at? Hmm. Good day. Hmm. You're a traveler, aren't you? Then listen up. What is it? You see those three trees up at the top of the snowy mountain over there, right? I think I do. Oh, now I do. <laughs> I found a small letter stuck between the pages of those of this old book at my house. It said, when the three summit trees become one, turn your back to them and head towards the sea. A trial encased in stone awaits you there. I don't know what that means. But maybe it means we have to head for Ephraim South Coast, which is just east of those tre three trees of the mountains. For the trial encased in stone bit, I wonder if you need to get some kind of treasure for doing that. But I have a child. I can't just go off on a journey across the mountains. But you can do it, right? You'd be great at that. Go on. Head out there and bring us back that treasure. Great. What makes you think I'm going to give you those treasures? What makes you think I'm going to give them? Because I may want them. What if it's the Master Sword? What if it's the Begoron Sword? What if it's a stack of burritos that I can put in my microwave and eat for the rest of my lives? <laughs> huh? 
Where the hell is this blue flame at? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe that's it. That'll work. Something's not right, though. This seemed a little too easy. Maybe I'm just being paranoid, but yeah, this does seem a little too easy. <laughs> Something about the burrito joke. That's what Mandy said. I gl like. I don't want to glance at my phone for too often because most of the time when I do, I either fall and die or I get it. <sighs> I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Hmm. Let me go talk to her real quick. Yeah, because I knew that was way too e That seemed way too easy than it should have been. Hey, you. Yes? What do you want? Oh, don't act so clueless. Although, fine. You seem heartless enough. Forgive me. I've just been on edge with all these monsters running around. They come from Matino Beast to steal my sheep. If someone doesn't do something soon, I won't have any left. All right. Yeah, that was, seriously, that was way too easy. Um, I can't see. Move. What? I heard that there's a Sheikah tribe girl who's super cute with really big eyes. Karen said as much. This is like some straight up Grisendel Blade cro Like, this game is everything but Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Not saying that that's a bad thing. I mean, everybody wished, what everybody was always thought, what would you do if you mixed Skyrim in with Zelda? Well, we got it. But I've seen Assassin's Creed uh, and Xenoblade Chronicles so far in this. And, I mean, those are good games, don't get me wrong. It's just crazy when you think about it. Hey, you. Um, can I help you? Uh, you got any pointers? Blue flame makes it sound fancy, but it's regular, just the same regular flame. If it gets wet, that's it. It'll help you light the village lanterns you see along the way and to avoid steep inclines. Do you have any other questions? When you bring the blue flame back from the ancient furnace, you may find it helpful. You may find it helpful to use a torch. There should be one at the entrance of this house. Feel free to use it. Okay.
All right, let's try this again. She said, "Use the torch to light the to, to light the town lighting on the way up." Okay, okay, so it's not as hard as I thought it would be, but holy shit. Cows. Lots and lots of cows. Lots and lots of cows. Ooh. Ah, I have figured out the strategy. Oh, somebody pissed off the cops again. Just so you guys know, I'm not I don't live in a bad neighborhood. It's actually the same neighborhood I did live in. You know, but it's just one of those things where it's like, oh, there's there's some crime here every now and then. The gas station across the street has been robbed twice in the past year alone. <laughs> I feel bad if Sir Moggs gets a job there, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I think the worst crime that happened there was a uh, a uh, somebody had tied a chain to the ATM there, and uh, oh shit! Uh, yeah, they tied a chain around the ATM and uh, pulled it out. Well, I don't know if he actually does talk, but uh, the King of Hyrule and Princess Zelda have both spoken. And, you know, you can quote me on that. Hell, I've got the fucking footage for it. The, uh, of them talking. Gan now, I'm almost certain Ganon's gonna talk. And, but Link, that's a whole nother subject. Because Link's been the silent protagonist for the last 30 years. So I don't think they're going to change that anytime soon, which, you know, in all honesty, I think it's retarded because it's like Shigeru Miyamoto said that he wants the player to imagine Link's voice. But the problem with that is you have him doing Hayas and Sayas and Tuyas and you have him scream bloody murder. And even in Wind Waker, you hear him saying, come on. And, you know, if you give somebody enough syllables, they can work, th they can make their own voice, I guess. <sighs> Sorry, guys, I'm exhausted. We're almost there, Link. Hey, what the hell? No! Hey, what the hell? No! 
Oh! That's what they meant. Hatino Ancient Tech Lab is now set as a travel gate. Yawn! Linky, thank you so much. Now then, take a look over there. The Guardian Stone must now be must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. That's just pure science. <laughs> My sweet little Guardian Stone. You sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore your Sheikah Stone Slate runes for you. Give me a nice snap. Go on. No time to be shy about it. Snap! Nice one. Okay then, Sheikah Slate repair underway. Guided Stone Lock removal now. Let's do this thing. Mandy. C camera, what the fuck? Starting repair. Yep, this is a basic, this is an ancient, this is a full-blown ancient iPhone. Or maybe it's a Note 7, I don't know. Instant, instantly render a visible image into a picture. Pictures created are saved to the album. It is a useful feature that connects to the Hyrule Compendium and automatically registers pictures of new entries. What the hell? Repair complete. And it's done. So, is it all fixed up now? Hmm, let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium, album. Yep, looks good. So, I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Okay. Snap! How's the picture taking going? Did you get a cupid of me with the camera? Yeah, I took one. Ooh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. Alright, uh, there. Hmm. Why? Who is this beautiful young creature? Huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Ah, uh, it's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are some old landscape photos stored in the album, too. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, it draws on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means there's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all the places where these pictures are taken. Oh, right, the lost memory thing could prove couplesome. But don't lose hope, it just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than even I do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this till after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring me either to me or to Robbie at the Acolyte Ancient Tech Lab. As if my joy weren't enough, if you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. You guys see this, right? This is an ancient iPhone. Or, that is an ancient iPhone. This is a Note 4. And I'll be right back. I gotta use the bathroom, guys. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna stream for about another 45 more minutes, but I can't hold it. <laughs>